Are you thinking of moving to Seattle metro area, but you don't know what a good neighborhood is? Well, today we are in Mount Baker to do a walking vlog tour. What's up everybody? My name is Toba Williamson. I'm Leah Zamir. And on this channel, we shoot tons of videos of what it's like to live in the Seattle metro area. So if those are videos you want more of, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell, you'll be notified every time a new video comes on. We get reach outs all the time. We love hearing from you, but we can't help unless you reach out. So give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle. So today we are in the Mount Baker neighborhood. We're in the light rail station right now, as you can see. It's got a... <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Friendly neighbor. Uh, yeah, friendly <laughs> security guy at the light rail station. Um, so yeah, Mount Baker, it's got a light rail station. It's not, it doesn't have a ton of like restaurants and shops like some of the other neighborhoods do, but it's got a ton of parks. So we're walking down, just getting off the Mount Baker station here and then walking down kind of a little strip on Rainier Ave. Rainier Ave goes really far across yeah. Seattle, so yeah. it's a big straight. And like um, behind us, MLK is also another main road. They kind of intersect over there. So, I mean, along Rainier, you've got, there's a couple coffee shops we just went to. There's a daycare over here. There's like a Safeway, a Home Depot. We just learned that it's a 63% owner occupied neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So pretty split for yeah. renters and owners. And we'll drive by some of the, through some of the neighborhoods. There's a lot of really cool, like older craftsmen in the neighborhood. You can get some really good lake views of Lake Washington here. Um, there's a lot more townhouses, apartments, condos being built. And just to clarify too, this is Mount Baker, the neighborhood. We yeah. do have a Mount Baker in the state of Washington, which is a big mountain. Yes. Um, actually, I think it's named that for the view because you can see Mount Baker from part of oh, it. Oh, okay. I think. That makes sense. <laughs> We're on our first rainy day tour. I know, too. this is like <laughs> classic Seattle like. weather. So but there's the light rail. That is oh, important bye. because a lot of people think when it's raining all the time that it's just like incessant dumping, but yeah. this is more what it's like. This is, yeah, I don't know. needed. Yeah, you can't really Probably tell. Probably get frizzy hair. Yeah. No rain boots yet. It's like 60 degrees though still, so it's not that cold. I got all bundled up and then it was hot. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be really cold. So, um, all right. So, yeah, what else? Mount Baker. This is kind of the backside where we were. This is like backside to some of the buildings. Yeah, there's not a ton of restaurants here. It's definitely more neighborhood oriented, a little more industrial to the west yeah. side, I'd say. Yeah. It does bump up against Rainier. And then, yeah, to go, like, there's Columbia City, Beacon Hill, even, like, north of I-90, you've got, like, central Seattle area is where you're going to go to do more stuff. Yeah. So there's not just a ton. If, there's a lot of parks here, though. So if you're into parking or parks, like, and lake. parking, too. And parking. There's <laughs> lake parking activities. <laughs> there's, like, rowing clubs and stuff over by the park. So we're going to hit up Mount Baker Park next and drive through some of the neighborhoods. Probably do more driving on these vlogs today on the rainy day. Yeah. <laughs> so. so like I said, a lot of newer construction. You see some of these apartments up here in the orange buildings. Um, and then this is MLK Street up here. So these are like kind of the two main roads that go through Central and South Seattle. The light rail goes along. Okay. I don't know. I feel like Mount Baker is kind of like the first real neighborhoody feel for when you go south. Yeah. You know, because Columbia City is still pretty urban. Yeah. And even Beacon Hill, some parts of it. Yes. Depends. And then Mount Baker kind of feels like the first, like, little. I don't want to call it a suburb because it's definitely not suburban, but it's got like a lot more neighborhoods than commercial areas. Yeah. Kind of like when you hit north and you get to like um, Wedgwood and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Here, let's see the next one. I'm going to cut through one of these little side streets and see, but you can see tons of just like really charming and cute 
cute houses, median price. Not here, I mean, any of these big houses would be well over a million, but you can find townhouses and condos for less. We're in like the sixes and the sevens, but single family, you're gonna be looking at. Very interesting new law in Seattle where they just lifted all their single family zoning. So you can basically build ADUs or um, any sort of DADUs on any lot in Seattle as long as you've got room. Yeah. So we should be seeing a lot of these neighborhoods get more townhomes. So these single family houses are going to be so much more coveted. Yeah. Well, and Okay, so now we are in Mount Baker Park, and we'll kind of do a loop here, and then we can walk over there too. Cool. But, so this park is like a ravine park that's kind of long and skinny, and then it connects to Coleman Park, and it connects to Lake Washington, and a beach over there. So you can swim over there, and then you can watch like hydroplane races that they have during sea fair, and it's just this nice, long, like kind of strolling parkway. <clears throat> So there's a nice playground here. I feel like that's a segue to look up. If you're moving to Seattle, you should look up Sea Fair. It's like yeah. uh, Seattle's favorite holiday. Yeah, it's like a like month, right? Month or two month thing in the summer. It's just like this big celebration of And then like the last maritime. weekend, they have uh, the Blue Angels and yeah. like a big party. Everyone just brings their boats out. So you have to get to know someone with a boat as soon as you move yeah. here. <laughs> um, but don't we have mo more boats per capita? I been probably, any other city. I don't know, but I believe it. I know someone with two boats. You so, always good have friend to have. Find friends with boats. Don't own a boat. It's too much work. Just to find somebody that has a boat. You get all the fun, and then you don't have to. My boyfriend pawned his boat off on his mom. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good thing he doesn't playground. Watch <laughs> Not a lot of kids. Yeah. Well, it's a school time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Except for those teenagers. Skipping school at yeah, the coffee a lot shop of kids we saw earlier. School in Mount Baker. <laughs> or maybe it was lunch time. It did seem like lunch, and then we did see all those people leaving the high school. Yeah. Here, let's walk this way. They and did then we'll seem go quite by. rebellious, though. Yeah. They were giving off skip school vibes. <laughs> we were reminiscing on our skipping school days. Yeah. Tova was a big rebel. She went to Denny's. Denny's. And I went to IHOP. <laughs> so, <laughs> drink coffee. <laughs> Which is kind of rebellious. It is. Yeah, to drink coffee when you're a teenager. I mean, that was when I got really in on frappuccinos. The gate, that, that's a gateway drug to it coffee. Is. For it is. I remember, yeah, the first frappuccino I had, and it was like so gross, but I like hate myself drinking it because it was coffee. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's enough sugar in here that it's kind of like candy. I was like, it still tasted coffee. Yeah. But... So yeah, this is, Cute little park. This is like park. the first rain we've had basically since summer and it's supposed to rain all week. So we're, I think people are kind of happy about it. It's been really dry lately, so I don't know. But then across the way, there's like a tiny, like we said before, Mount Baker doesn't have like as much of like a little downtown neighborhoody area like some other neighborhoods do. Um, but there's a few. So this is right across from the park. You've got Mio Posto, which is like a little kind of pizza place. It's like they've got a Pilates studio, a little daycare up here. So, you know, it's cute. And this neighborhood is definitely more like family oriented. Okay. Yeah. Keep yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a little calmer and quieter here once we get off that main. Um, Ravenna, or not Ravenna, Rainier. Rainier. Mm -hmm. so yeah, Rainier, Rainier and uh, Martin Luther King yeah. Boulevard it can be quite the hustle and bustle. Yeah. But this place is really good. Neil Post, so they have I've a never few been there. They have a couple locations. Oh! oh. We almost had a car accident. Not caused by there that. There was no car accident. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, and then the Velvet Elk. I've read about this place. Like, oh my gosh, it's super cool. cute. Like fancy little cocktails and stuff. Huh. And then this looks like it's gonna be something. Oh, coastal, coastal interior. interior. Oh, we won't film her. <laughs> the little barber Ooh. shop. Bar scene down here. Yeah. So, what do we got here? Another little coffee place. Oh, bright spot. This is cute. So yeah. Oh, look. Here's the Mount Baker Community Club too. So they've got little community meetings, a little board about what's going on. In the neighborhood. Neighborhood coffee cup. Right there. DC New one. <laughs> yeah. It, that is Mount Baker neighborhood. So if you're thinking of moving to Mount Baker or any other neighborhood in Seattle, give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle.